Hi boys and girls, this is Nick J back and this is a video response in response to some comments I've been getting regarding uh, I've been uploading some 4K video which is like a couple of increments above 1080p uh, and on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Now people are saying that they can't see the difference. Well, um, let's just say for the people that aren't, I'm sure most of you are, um, Next, on the right hand side of the screen at the bottom, uh, where you click to expand the picture, uh, the YouTube screen to full screen, just to the side of that there's like a white cog, um, and this is where you set the, uh, the different qualities you want to view the video in, whether it's standard quality or whether it's kind of HD quality. And incidentally, if you're watching a video on YouTube um, on a tablet or on your phone, if, you hover, if it's not there already, if you sort of go to press the top right-hand corner, there'll be three little dots that are like vertical, and you click that, and then the star, the cog, white cog, will appear uh, in the middle of the frame. You click that, and then you'll get all your options to watch either standard view um, or HD, depending on your connection, how fast it is. They give you the option. So obviously, to sort of watch anything in HD, you've got to click that, because the default is just to play it in normal, standard, horrible quality. Now, back to the question of people saying they can't see the difference. Well, to be honest, um, YouTube are known uh, throughout the sort of video uploading community that they will actually, because they use MP, they, they convert your files when you upload them to YouTube into an MPEG-4 format, um, which ultimately means that the quality, it's, it's a smaller file, so their servers don't overload. So when you upload something, um, typically it's not as good quality as when it was on your desktop. So YouTube are known for that anyway. And I've got to tell you that over the years I've been using YouTube, I can't actually tell the difference between 1080p and 720p. So I think this is a problem with YouTube. Uh, I don't see any difference whatsoever between those two. So you're kind of thinking, so okay, what's the point of uploading um, 4K video, which I believe is 2150p, um, which is a couple of increments above 1080p, up to YouTube? Or what is the point of uh, shooting higher than 1080p if most devices are only playing back at 1080p? My laptop, the screen quality is only 1080p, uh, and I think the majority of laptops and desktops are. TVs are the same because 4K is in its infancy uh, and I don't think that any tellies at the moment as far as I've seen have got the ability to play it back at, at full quality. So you're kind of thinking well what's the point? Well the thing is is that you may not see the difference between 1080p and uh, Ultra HD 4K on YouTube. But because this is only a pinhole camera, the quality is not going to be as good as, say, uh, your HD camcorder, because it's only a, it's got a small hole and it's a plastic lens. Um, and there's not very much light getting in and all the rest of it, so it's not going to be as good. However, the 4K even if it's played back at 1080p, is is still better quality. So until TVs catch up and until YouTube really do something to play it back at proper ultra HD, uh, having one of these is just the is just the equivalent of having a more fuller visual experience. Um, as opposed to just run-of-the-mill 1080p because when I look at this even on YouTube this little camera there's no degradation uh, in the dark areas or in the uh, mid-tones there's nothing at all um, just after it's uploaded it is because it's still kind of they're still uh, converting it but so you've got to look at having shooting 4k at the moment it's just having uh, an image that looks like 
1080p really should look because at the end of the day that's another argument domestic consumer 1080p is kind of dumbed down as well um, because when phone cameras first came out or little flip cameras which I'm filming this on first came out the idea was you could shoot and then just upload them um, over your sort of, uh, you know, o not over the Wi-Fi, but over your normal sort of, uh, the sort of data allowance that you get with the phone, just over the normal phone's airwaves. But the reality is, is that um, you wouldn't really be able to do it, or it would take that long because the files would be so big. Um, you, you know, it would take ages. So they actually dumbed down the bit rate in a lot of these small cameras and devices previous to this so you could upload it quickly because otherwise you wouldn't use it. Because at the end of the day, 1080p, 720p is just a diameter. It's just a shape. They can say it's 1080p and it is. But where the quality comes into effect is the bit rate, is how much bit rate. The higher the bit rate, the higher the quality, uh, the higher the quality, the bigger the uh, file, the longer it's going to take to upload, the less chance people are going to buy it because um, it just takes too long. So a lot of small devices that shoot normal 1080p consumer based are dumbed down, the quality is dumbed down so it's more manageable. But this... Um, so 1080p isn't really how it should be in terms of what it looks like. It should be a lot better in domestic equipment. Uh, but this, um, you know, this is kind of playing it back at 1080p is the equivalent of what 1080p should look like. So I hope that makes sense. A little bit of history there and, a, you know, a bit of controversy over uh, 1080p as well. So if you're wondering why you should buy this when all your devices play back at 1080p, because until uh, video's equipment catches up, this plays back at what 1080p should look like. Okay, it's been Nick Dover. I shall see you on another video.